cheating on me is easy, but learning to walk after I shoot you in the legs ain't. You know, it might be just me, but I've kind of noticed a little difference between nice girls and nice guys, and uh, that is that nice girls have a lot more mentioning of weaponry. You know, you gotta be really, really quirky when you paralyze people from the waist down with a bullet. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash nice girls, and if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and the engagement helps on the video too, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. Okie dokie, let's get into this. Have you really got me, babe? <laughs> you seem sweet and kind, XX. Who are you? A blank. You came up as people I may know. Sorry if I'm bothering you. I hate it when people add me just because, oh hey, you were on my suggested friends list. That is not how I wish to get to know you. Is that okay? Sorry, just forget I messaged. Take care. Yeah, it's kind of strange, but all the best. We have friends in common from church. I get messages from people at church all the time, but be stuck up snob. At least I know now that if I ever go to church and run into you, and then don't say hello, for that is forbidden with you. Leave me alone, please. F off and block me, clunk. You know, I feel like you don't even need to say that part. He's probably way ahead of you on that. And way to go being one of those people that thinks just because they go to church, everybody else does too. Also, like, seriously, the Facebook suggestions area, that is not any way to make friends. Oh, I added you because of Facebook's algorithm. I still don't want to talk to you, even if you do. Like, seriously, the only people I ever talk to or add on Facebook are people that I have met in real life, have gone to school with, or are people that I no longer work with. Off of the suggestions tab is just sketchy as can be. Like, you might as well have asked for his social security number and mother's maiden name. Hey, Zach, I'm so sorry. I really broke my effing phone when I was drinking. I just got a new one from Best Buy. <laughs> Lol. You still there? I see. You don't believe me, huh? Please don't be mad at me. I'll call you a ASAP, SMH, did you block me? I didn't even ring. You ended the chat? Darn, just like that, LMAO. Uh, never mind, I just redownloaded my Bumble, LOL, SMH, it's alright, a piece. Bye. You as blocked now, darn, you ain't even give a B a day. That would be for the best. I told you what hours I work, and even on my bio, it says I have bad response times. I met you a day ago. No one told me to delete Bumble. I didn't block you because my phone doesn't allow calls when I'm at work. Have a nice day. Yeah, don't you know some people can't understand exactly, like if you can't get back to them immediately, like within the millisecond, then that means that they are absolutely rejecting you. Nope, that is exactly how it works. I guess good girls finish last too, or something. Us good guys sure do. It's a curse. Yeah, we do. Good guys should be with good girls. I'm not even so sure why it's so hard for this to even parallel slash match up. I know the feeling. Isn't like the main common denominator between all of you nice peoples is that you have really unrealistic standards? Like isn't it like for nice girls you guys want the dude that is like six foot nine and ripped like Jason Momoa and for the nice guys you want the girl to be more stacked up top like the Romanian army but at the same time being petite and you know four foot two? And I'm not saying that short stacks don't exist because like they do and all but you know like it's it doesn't exactly gonna work out that way if you make yourself that aimed on getting exactly that one type of person and that goes for both of you. Nice guys and nice girls just goes to show that petty comes in all shapes and sizes. Look here I know we talked about this but I just wanted to give you time to think it over again before I approach you. I really feel like we had a connection that night. Oh, what do you say to a date this weekend. I know you wanted to visit this location. We can go try it out. My treat. I appreciate your feelings, but I told you before that I am not in the right place to handle a relationship right now. I am sorry. So easy to say. It's like you to use me how you wanted, and then it's, hey, I'm not in the right place to handle a relationship with someone who cares for me and loves me and wants to devote time to me. But I I am in the right to go out with ales, lol, so don't be 
mad if you catch me sucking Blank's clock sometime later today. Excuse me? Are you for real right now? I didn't force you to have S with me. I told you beforehand when you first texted that I'd just be a hookup. And what is it to you if I do suck Blank or whoever else's D? It's none of your effing business. I made it very clear what I was looking for, so don't try to guilt trip me into something I told you I wasn't going to give you. Because nothing is as important to an S as her body count. So let me get this straight. You guys had an agreement of what it what exactly your interaction was and now you're getting pissy because you want something else other than what you guys originally agreed on honestly the only person here at fault is you so you know what stay mad don't think you can order a cake and then change the cake after you've already eaten it i don't know if that's the best metaphor for that uh, but you know what i feel like i was somewhere onto something listen up i'm not a mean person once you get to know me i'm the sweetest girl ever i literally go to school and pretty much get talked about all day. You can literally be a total bee to you, and I'll literally be so darn nice, because I'm not a person like that. I can't be mean. It doesn't get me anywhere. People think I'm so rude when I'm actually not. You just haven't gotten to know me. You're really coming off as that type of lovely person that brings the big balloons on their birthday to make sure that everybody knows it's your birthday and to try to treat you like a princess and all that jazz. And also, where's this lovely attitude gotten you? Well, uh, if anything, a vague Snapchat posting at the ceiling is definitely an end route. Plus, I can't be the only one that feels like every single time I see somebody misuse the word or overuse the word literally, I feel like I'm getting dumber and dumber, and I, I know I can't be the only one. Like anybody that says, I am literally dying. After seeing something cute, uh, no, there is nobody running in your direction with a defibrillator. When you start an argument with Bay to spice things up, and he ends up leaving your butt? Mm, yep. Yep, as you're just gonna get things going here. Are there seriously people that start arguments for the sake of killing time? Like, that is not a relationship anybody should want to be in, because honestly, if you come home from work and you feel like you're walking on eggshells, it's not fun. Now get yourself out of there, because your mental health is more important than anybody else's. We can meet tonight. Yeah, a seven. I actually just made other plans. I didn't think I was going to hear back from you. Sorry. <laughs> really, bro? Effing really? Really? No need to apologize, lol. The only sorry one is you, ugly AF. You look like a darn troll, lol. No need to say sorry. I was just gonna use you for free drinks, lol. You're so ugly. Why would you mess up an opportunity with me, loser, lol? Uh, because I didn't respond within two minutes to your text? B, I have a lot. I don't sit on my phone texting Fs like you. Give me a minute, you're gonna find out why that sentence alone is ironic. And yeah, you're ugly, a eh, hobbit, a eh? didn't make plans, dumb, a eh? lol. Uh, don't lie, winky face. You are just mad you chat ever get any kitty, at least not any quality kitty. And uh, trust me, whatever ugly girl you're going on a date with tonight ain't as hot as me. I know never want to meet you. Uh, sorry, here's me not caring and blocking you. Uh, bye, uh, ginger midget. <laughs> Winky face. And I actually already have plans tonight. Haha, <laughs> I just lied and said that to you to play with your head. A last resort type of thing. Haha, <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, start aiming for girls more in your league. You are aiming too high, bro. Uh, sorry, I always thought you were ugly. Uh, you you just look like you have money. You are just an ugly a ginger troll who looks like one of those gremlin slash elves from Lord of the Rings. Quit lying and pretending like you get kitty and have plans because we all know you don't and you're just mad I blew your F.A. off. LOL. Winky face. Don't be dumb. Did you actually think a girl as hot as me would actually meet you? A sweetie. A such an amateur. I already have plans tonight. I just said yeah in case I needed to use you as a backup for free drinks slash dinner sometime. Start going.
going for girls in your own league. You're aiming too high, sweetie. Try going for girls ugly like you. I don't ever want to meet you. You're just mad I blew you off. Sorry. Yeah, but wasn't there something you said about this uh, not getting to you? Okay, then. Explain this. Plus, also, like, anybody that blatantly admits to wanting to only date people for the sake of using their money or getting free drinks or free meals out of them, that kind of stuff should be blasted on social media just so that everybody knows to avoid that person because honestly why would you ever want to date somebody if you know there's going they're just there to use you because that doesn't seem like anybody that's worth keeping in the long run and god forbid you even keep them in the short term and honestly my thoughts of if i ever do meet somebody and they wind up turning into this person that's the reason why honestly i'm going to have my first few dates be just cheap stuff because i don't want to make it seem like i got a lot of money because i've been used before and honestly it's not fun when you just say okay let's hang out okay i fulfilled my purpose bye bye and they toss you away like the whole i don't want to play with you anymore woody andy scene from toy story but i'm not going to use that to sum up the general public like i'm not going to have one time of me being used and say okay i'm not going to date any more women whatsoever because i know for a fact that is not the general populace that's not going to happen a lot but the fact that it does happen is still the thought that looms in the back of my head plus also you saying you're hot as anything well i'm gonna say sorry this is a, this whole statement here is quite the fire extinguisher. So I gotta say, you better humble yourself, because honestly, at this rate, it doesn't seem like anybody's gonna want to be around you. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and to see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.